Gentlemen, in six months' time, there have been three kidnappings. In each case, a prominent ranch owner has been the victim. In every instance, large ransoms have been demanded and paid. Now, these crimes must stop. You and I know that we're severely handicapped through lack of funds and manpower. But Washington obviously doesn't appreciate our problem. They demand that we maintain law and order. Now, gentlemen, it's up to you. Well? Sorry, sir. The young lady here has some important information. Come in, please. You are looking for the Cisco kid, huh? Yes, we are. You pay big reward money too, no? There's $5,000 offered for his capture. Mm. You pay it to me. After he's captured. Well, no. But you will not cheat me, no? If you have any information that leads to the capture of the Cisco kid, you'll be paid. Bueno, I have. Listen, Cisco kid is coming to see me tonight and... Uh... Beautiful Dolores. When I'm in your arms, my head she's flying in the moon. When I kiss your burning lips, my heart she's. Put up your hands, Cisco. You're under arrest. Get his gun. Come on. Well, when do I get my money? Find out for yourself, Squealer. Go on. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Come on, wake up. Wake up, amigo. You want to sleep until they shoot you? It's because you feel too much that we are here, you know that, huh? No, Cisco, it's because the senorita. Oh, si, si, I know. Women, they are like a beautiful peach, soft and pretty on the outside. But inside is the heart of stone. <laughs> From now on, I am finished. See, everything is finished. No more holy map, no more stealing. Oh, it's bad to die. You're wanted in the colonel's office. Just you, Cisco. Come on. Hey, amigo. It's better we say adios. Maybe I don't see you again. Adios, Gordita. You're the best amigo a man ever had. Adios. Hello, Cisco. Well, that's not just before I die. That's all, Johnson. Sit down. Well, it's taken a whole year, but I finally caught up with you. I'm sorry, senor, not you, a woman. Yes, I'll give you that one. It isn't the way I would have liked it to happen. I know, you would like to see them carry me in, huh? No, not quite. We're on opposite sides of the fence. And while I don't condone the things you do, I can't help but admire the manner in which you do them. Oh, gracias, mi coronel. I'm sorry we're not on the same side of the fence. I think maybe you and me would be good amigos, huh? Have one. No, gracias. Well, I know you do not bring me here for the pleasure of my company or to give me a cigar. You must have something to say, no? On my way out here, a year ago, you held up the stagecoach and you were a little too handy with your gun. I told you then, if it was the last thing I did, I'd get you and have you shot. See, I remember. But why remind me? I do not ask you to let me go. I might consider that, providing you accept my proposition. Well, senor, when a man have a short time to live, he listen to any proposition. This one isn't easy. You'll be risking your life every inch of the way. Well, it's better to die like that than with your back to the wall, no? What do I do? I want you to go to Las Tablas to find out the name of the leader of a gang of criminals who've been operating in that territory. <laughs> you want me to come over to your side of the fence, huh? No, I'm sorry. I want very much to live, but I cannot change the colors. I'm an outlaw, not a stool pigeon. I thought even you outlaws drew the line at kidnapping. Kidnapping? Yes, there have been three of them in the past six months. Uh, kidnapping is bad, it's very dirty, but I cannot do it. <laughs> Why, you don't send some of your men? I have. They're there now. Some of them have been killed, but still the kidnapping goes on. 
Only two days ago, a rich ranch owner by the name of Don Pedro Martinez was murdered and his son Carlos kidnapped. Don Pedro was killed? But that is impossible. He, he was like my father. His son Carlos is my best friend. When he married Margarita, I... Now, got... just a minute. The Martinez family are fine people. They'd have no truck with an outlaw. But of course not. This is before I become outlaw. When I come from Portugal. My real name is Gonzalo Sebastián Rodrigo Don Juan Chicuelo. When, when do I go? Right away. All right, I'm ready. Providing you can get out of here. What do you mean? Well, this job isn't official. It must remain a secret between us. And it's only fair to tell you that you won't be able to count on any assistance from me. I won't be able to call off my own men. All I can promise is that if you can find out the names of these criminals, you might expect a pardon. Bueno, but why do you trust me? If I go, how do you know I do what you say? If you don't, we'll get you again. There'll always be another senorita. Good luck. You're gone, senor. Huh? Oh. Now, with your permission, we go to release my amigo, huh? Well, with a gun at my back, what else can I do? The hacienda is over there. Miguel. Don Juan. Son amigos. Come over. <laughs> Senora Margarita will be so glad to see you. She has big trouble, Don Juan. See, si, I know. That is why I come. Come in the hacienda. You amigo too. Arturo, take the horses. There's not much more to tell. Don Pedro is gone and Carlos is being held for ransom. Sit down, please. How much money do the bandidos want? $50,000. $50,000? I've had to mortgage the rancho to Senor Clark to get it. Who is this Senor Clark? He owns a bank at Los Tablas. Oh. Well, when do you have to give the money to the bandidos? I don't know. I'm waiting for another message from him now. Him? Ah, you think it is only one hombre, one bandido? Well, I say that because he's the only one who signs messages. Oh. What's his name? The Cisco Kid. The Cisco Kid? Have you heard of him? Oh. See, oh. <laughs> see, si, si, I... Uh, please, may I see the message? Oh, the Cisco kid never write this. He no speaks such good English. How do you know that? Well, uh, uh, he make the hold up on the stage coach when I am passenger once and I hear him talk. He, he, he's a foreigner like me. An Americano write this. Bueno, pues, my amigo and me, we go to Las Tablas. Maybe we find out something. I come back as soon as I can. Thank you, Juan. I can't tell you how grateful I am. No, it's not. Adios, Margarita. Hey, Gordito, wake up. Wake up! Every time I leave you, you go to sleep. No, amigo, I was only resting my eyes. Come on, come on. I go in alone, you come in later. I believe you don't know me. Keep both your eyes open. Especially the good one. And stay out. You drink too much? No, vice versa. He's a psalm singer, trying to convert our customers. Mixed with turpentine. Yeah, tequila with salt and limon, please. All right. Can't say I ain't warned you. Gracias. Gracias to you, partner. Tequila, por favor. 
trouble. What do you got tonight, Barney? Even money on anyone. One to five and you. Tighten up, ain't you? Saturday night, Joe. All right, ten on them, buddy, fifteen on me. It's your best. What about you giving this a whirl, partner? What you betting for? I'm laying even money to be a killing in here before the night's out. I'll bet it either way. A one to five, it'll be you. Interested? No, it does not Okay, but take a tip from Barney. Get something down on yourself. But why? It's a great bet. Any way you figure it. If someone don't fill you full of buckshot, you win. If someone does, the loss won't bother you. What do you say? No, it does not Hey, hombre. I want to make a bet on myself. I'll go. Sorry, partner. Why you don't want to bet with me? It's like taking candy from a baby. You're the kind of a guy who gets carried out of here every half hour. Every half hour? Every half hour. Talk to you later, Sheriff. Yeah, I'll be around, Red. Oh, you only paid the debt. Oh, I don't pay to kiss a gal like you. <laughs> Let go of me, Kite! Let you don't you dare kiss me! Hey, Hank! Is he dead? No, just messy. Tough luck, boys. No corpus delicti, no payoff. Oh, <laughs> you nearly lose plenty of money, eh, Barney? Nah, I'd have broke about even. Curly had 50 down on himself. Hiya, Sally. I'm having a drink, Barney. And the fancy to a maiden's prayers, by. All right with you, Barney? Oh, when a beautiful senorita with such beautiful eyes and who says such beautiful things is thirsty, I'm always buying. Thanks. Tequila won't mix with a speech like that. Who said tequila? Vino, the best in the house. Bring it to the table, please. What are you doing in this part of the country? Oh, someone tell me that in Las Tablas I find the most beautiful senorita in all Arizona. <laughs> so I have come to see her. And she is? You haven't changed a bit. Still the same windbag. Did <laughs> senorita make a mistake? This is the first time I had the pleasure to see her. It's the second time, Cisco, and that's no pleasure. But that is impossible. My, my mind, she never forget a beautiful woman. Your mind wasn't on your work in Silver City. Silver City? Yeah. Sally from the birdcage container. Remember now? <laughs> no, I am sorry. I do not remember. Then I'll help you along. You are beautiful, Sally. When I hold you in my arms, my head, she is swimming like when I drink my father's wine in Portugal. Malarkey. Oh, see, now I think I remember. You're a smooth parcel, you are. I suppose you forget the tightrope walker in the tent show. You took one look at her and your mind didn't know what the rest of you was doing. Here we are. Wait till you put your lip over this. Just squeeze the grapes myself. <laughs> I am very sorry I was a bad boy in Silver City. But when my eyes, they look at you now, I know I was very stupid, too. Stupid like a fox. Trying to soft soak me. Listen, there's a price in your head, and you didn't think you'd run into anybody around here who knew you. Well, if my life she must be over so soon, I'm very happy I lived long enough to drink to such a beautiful scenery. Cool as a rough rose nose, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, Sally! Hello, Johnny. This is Johnny Birds, our county sheriff. Johnny, this is Don Juan Chiquedo, otherwise known as the original, uh... Cantina Girls Delight. Glad to meet you, Chiquillo. Gracias. Hey, Limey, bring me a drink. What'll it be, sir? A glass of milk. Yes, sir. I'll be doggone to have the same drink a dozen times a day and still he asks me what'll it be, Sheriff. <laughs> and it's an even money bet you'd get milk if he had it. Wow, they're the Yankee Doodle Boys. Pardon, senorita, I have some very important business to do. Dispense me, I must leave now. I'm not ready to excuse you, senor Chiquillo. I haven't finished my drink. Sit down. In this place, it's Sally before business. You know if Sheriff Burns is in here? That's him over there. 
thanks. Sheriff Burns? Yeah? I'm Lieutenant Kirk. What can I do for you? We're on special detail. We're looking for the Cisco kid. Well, I reckon you've been on the trail for a spell. Yes, four days. I guess you ain't heard they caught the Cisco kid while he was a sparkin' with a Spanish sweet patootie. No, I haven't. Yeah, they got that kidnapper all right, nice and cozy in a cell. But he got away. Got away? How? Yeah, pulled the gun right out of the colonel's holster. Used him to get his partner out of jail, and the two of them got away clean. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't see any humor in that. Apparently you're forgetting, Sheriff. These kidnappings have taken place in your own county. Our base of operation will be Prescott, should you need us. Good night. Young whippersnapper snooping around here. Hey, Limey, where's my drink? Coming, sir, coming. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to go to Mr. Reggie's kitchen for it. They have no milk at the bar, sir. Milk? Danged if it ain't milk. <laughs> but that is what you ordered, sir. Well, I'll be switched. I didn't know there was a quarter milk within five miles of here. <laughs> We've been getting it every day, sir, for Mr. Reggie's guest who is ill. Shut up. I beg your pardon, sir. I only explained where I procured the milk. Beat it. Yes, sir. What are those army men warning? They're looking for the Cisco kid. I'd like to talk to you in my office. Time to raffle your bustle. Gracias, Sally. What are you thanking me for? Because you do not tell the sheriff and the army men who I am. Maybe I haven't gotten around to it yet. Don't get too cocky or I might change my mind. I gotta go now. When I raffle the bus, will you bid for it? Senor, here for light. Oh, gracias. It's better we go now. I already died six times. But why? Three times when the sheriff go to your table, and three times when the soldados come. Do not worry, my little fat one. Hey, Barney. Yes, Barney. What it mean to Rafa de Bussel? The highest bidder gets a chance to dance with Sally. I call it the dance of death. But why? Oh, fellow gets warmed up on a quarter red eye. He gets a dance, and soon he's steaming. Then he gets careless. That's when Reg gives Sleepy up there the office. And the lead starts flying. Excuse me, sir. Your bill is seven dollars. Oh, I see. I forget to pay. How's everything going? Fine, thank you. Only I believe I am in disfavor with Mr. Reg. How come? Thank you, sir. I don't quite know exactly, but he very much resented my mentioning that his guest was ill. I thought I told you to keep your eyes and ears open and your mouth shut. But Barney... Now do as I said. I want to be carrying you out of here. Yes, sir. Poor guy. Came to town with a lot of money and lost it all in cattle. I got him a job here. Oh, that is too bad. Hey, tell me, Barney. Why is the guest of Senor Red such a big secret, huh? Look, mister, I don't know you from a bale of hay, but take a tip from me. You live longer around here if you mind your own business. Your glasses for the tip. Quiet, everybody, quiet! This is the last time tonight we're going to raffle Sally's butt. When do I will bid? Then give me a bet on yourself, will you? I treat you pretty good, didn't I? I'll take even money on you if you get to dance with Sally. Only even money? You think I am sure to die if I dance with Sally, eh? You're a cinch. All right. Ten dollars on me. It's a bet. This side of Milwaukee. Don't rush me, boys. We'll get started in a minute. Come in a little closer. That's it. Now, there's a nice guy. Get your money out and remember this is... Oh, well, we all got to die sometime. ...to dance with Sally. As you all know, this is a charity auction. The money goes to the widows and children of the men who died here. So don't be pikers, bid. I now take great pleasure in introducing that gorgeous, beautiful, lovely lass, that sweetheart of all sweethearts, Miss Sally Slocum. Yeah. Look her over carefully, boys, and remember it's all for sweet charity. Me for you, Sally, old girl. <laughs> every move a picture and every look a bit of heaven. Why, just looking at Sally is heaven, and dancing with her is paradise. What am I bid? I reckon it's worth ten dollars. Oh. Ten dollars, man, you ain't heading for heaven. <laughs> I'll give her a swing for twenty-five. Twenty-five, now you're rolling. Twenty-five on bid, twenty-five, who'll make it fifty? Fifty. Fifty dollars, that's the offer. Fifty dollars, fifty, we'll make it seventy-five. We'll make it seventy-five, I'm offered fifty. Think of it, gentlemen, seventy-five, you can take a trip to heaven for seventy-five. We'll make it seventy-five. I will. Oh! 
who'll make it a hundred? Who'll make it a hundred? Come on, seventy-five dollars is bid. Who'll make it a hundred? Who'll make it a hundred? Who'll make it a hundred? One hundred. One hundred dollars, and it's worth every penny of it. Who'll make it a hundred and twenty-five? It's the last time I'm coming around, gentlemen. Make up your minds. Are you all through? So, to the gentleman for a hundred dollars. Dancing, I think he made a sucker bet. Huh? Every half hour for you. Every half hour. dancing with Sally. Can't say. I never saw him before tonight. He dances well. Yeah, he's pretty good. Very good indeed. May I see you gentlemen for a moment? Sure thing. Here you had a visit from the Army tonight, Rich. I don't like the Army here any more than you do, Dan. If you want my opinion, I don't like the whole deal. There's nothing wrong with the deal. It's worked well twice before and it will again if we keep our heads. And keep them cool. As you know, my bank today approved a $50,000 mortgage loan to Mrs. Martinez. That means that in a short time, we'll own the rancho. She has the cash now, so you better get a message to her right away where she's to leave the money. And tomorrow you can let her husband go. Go? He's as weak as a sick goat. He has eaten a bite. Well, then you better tell Mrs. Martinez in your message to send for him. Here? Oh, certainly not. You'll have to find some other place. Then where? That's your job, Reg. And you're a sheriff. Oh, we'll handle it all right, Dan. See to it that you do. And now, if you will please excuse us. Oh, sure thing. The man Sally's dancing with. Better have Sleepy keep an eye on him. Okay, Dan. I'm going home now. Tell Sally to stop by. All right. Sally, Dan, I'd like you to drop by. Okay. I can't talk to you now. Take a room here tonight, and I'll see you later. Why do we stay here tonight, eh? <laughs> Sally, she told me to. But last night you told me you finished with women. See, I did, but it's no use. Love is like the cough. When it comes, you cannot stop it. You are in love with her? See? Then you cooked up. Every time you fall in love, Cisco, always we get ourselves in a lot of trouble. Hey, Gordito. Go out on the balcony and keep your eye on Senor Sleepy and your hand on your gun, eh? Ashley. Every time I leave Dan Clark sleepy, he makes sure I go straight to bed. Say, who is this Senor Dan Clark? In this town, he's king. He owns the bank, the sheriff, his birdcage, everything. And you think he owns you too, huh? No one owns me. I'm very glad I find you then. Hey, 
between Dan Clark and the Cisco kid, I'll take Dan Clark. Oh, Sally Mia, why do you say things like that? Save your pretty speeches where they'll do some good. Now, why do you act like this? First you saved my life, Miss Orlando's. Then you told me to spend the night here. And now when my heart is breaking to hold you in my arms... Save it. I'll tell you why I did all this. Why? I want to strike a bargain with you. Anything you say, I will do anything. You'd better. What is it? You let Carlos Martinez go free and I'll keep my mouth shut. Otherwise, I spill the beans to the sheriff. Carlos Martinez? Yeah, and don't give me those baby eyes. But, uh, why do you ask me to do this? When we were kids in Rio Oro, Carlos Martinez and I were friends. For years, his father kept my family from starving. Till I was 15, every stitch of clothes on my back came from the Martinez family. Besides, I think you're a yellow coyote to pull this on anybody. You better talk fast, Cisco. <laughs> He's very funny. What's funny? I do. I'm a friend of the Martinez family for a long time. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, it's true, Sally. Carlos and I are good friends before I become outlaw. I'll give you just one minute. Oh, when I find out that Carlos is kidnapped, I come to Las Tablas to help his wife. You must believe me, because I would... Who is it? Me, Miguel. Who? Miguel. Miguel from Rancho Martinez. I look all over for you. It's all right. You come just in time. What happened? Senora Margarita, she get another message from the bandidos. She said for you to come pronto. Well, now you wait for me outside, huh? Well, yeah. It was one very close shave. You believe me now, no? Yes, but everybody around here thinks you're the kidnapper. See, si, I know. The bandidos are a very clever hombre. <laughs> he used my name and the soldados don't look for him in the right place. But I think I am in the right place. Here? See. Si. It's very strange Senor Clark gives such a big mortgage to Senora Margarita, no? Banging's his business. You're blocking up the wrong tree. Dan's no saint, but he couldn't be that dirty. Uh, perhaps not. But everything should come out in the wash line, we will see. <laughs> right now, I'm a very happy hombre. Three times happy. One, because my next year's safe. Two, because my beautiful Sally, she no longer think I'm a yellow coyote. And three, because maybe now... You think you're pretty good, don't you? Uh, the results you speak for yourself, no? Yeah, we girls are all alike. Long on romance and short on willpower. Wait a minute. You forget we've got company and you've got work to do. Still around tomorrow, we'll talk it over. Don't get shot. Sally, safe at home. You can go to bed now. Senor Sleepy, he go. Eh, hey, gordito, she's beautiful, exciting. She's 1,000% woman. You find a senorita here? See, si, her eyes, her lips. We came to find a man, and you find a woman? Hey, but of course, I nearly forget. Come, amigo, we go to Rancho Martin. And when we sleep? Ah, uh, caramba, every time we have work to do, you want to sleep or eat? I am a man, no? No. Ah, gordito, you're not even a man. You cucaracha. Okay, Margarita. Thank heaven you've come. Here's the letter. Leave $50,000 in cash in pocket of well at Turkey Creek early tomorrow morning. That's today, Juan. See? Si. Uh, what is pocket in Spanish? Uh, a cubo. Ah. I will leave directions in the pocket where to find your husband. The Cisco kid. We must hurry. You have the money? I have it in the safe. It's in cash? In $100 bills. Bueno, you bring it to me and I will take it to Turkey Creek myself. Oh, thank you, Juan. I'll go get it now. Un momento, Margarita. You have covered wagon, huh? Covered wagon? See. Si. Uh... No, I don't think so. But I've seen one at Dry Mesa. It's on your way to Turkey Greek. You can't miss it. It's a blacksmith shop. Bueno, I will stop by now. Please hurry, Margarita. Hey, amigo. Fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money, no? Silencio. You are going with me? When do we sleep? All right, all right.
This must be Turkey Creek. We go this way. Bueno. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, señores. Eh, uh, I'd like to buy that wagon. That wagon? Well, it is very old, but if you want to buy, I sell it. How much? Uh, maybe ten dollars. Bueno. Yes, I get it. Maria! Sí. Solito, Francisca, Maria. Vamos, todos, vengan. Lupita, tú también. Ay, agarren ese, ese coche. Sí, Súbalo para arriba, todos juntos. Anda. Vamos, vamos. Vengan, muchachos. Parecen ratones, ¿no? Qué bárbaro. Vamos. vamos. Vete por el otro lado, empuja, vamos, vamos. Vete. Anda, ayuda tú también. Anda aquí, vamos. Arriba. Vamos, Pedrito, empuja, empuja, que no tienes fuerza. Eh, how much for set of harness, eh? Uh, maybe five dollars. All right. Hey, gordito, get off and hitch horse to the wagon. But, amigo, my horse has... Silencio, do as I say. Adios. 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 Hasta la vista! Well done pronto! Pop, do you know that man? No, first time I see him. I think I have seen him before. Where? I don't remember, but I think I have, someplace. ¿Por qué nos importa? Maria, mira, mira, fifteen dollars. Sí, qué bueno. Uh, uh, now I can buy you a new axe, so you can chop better. Lárgate de aquí, mete a trabajar. The well is not far from here, around the rocks. Give me the serape. Give me the money. Pull off the road and wait for me here. Stopping at the well. Can you make out who it is? No, I can't. Might be Mrs. Martinez wearing a serape. Let's see what Santa Claus left us, Reg. Why we go? I do not know. Oh, you stupid fool. I leave money and well, no? I want to see who get it. Fifty thousand dollars. She go down the well. There it is, Johnny. Yes, sir. Tucked in nice and neat. I better get going. Put the message in the bucket. What do you figure that is? Can't say. Come on. Hey, amigo. Whoa. No dia, senores. Buenos dias. What are you heading for? Uh, no sabe. Ask him in Spanish. A donde va? Oh, mi padre está muy malo. Voy a las tablas a ver un doctor, un médico. He said his father's sick. He's going to Las Tablas to see the doctor. Well, let's have a look in the wagon. Oh, no, senores. Está muy malo, mi papa. Oh, shut up. We just want to take a look. Oh, senor, no. Él tiene smallpox. ¿Qué dice? Sí, muchas viruelas, smallpox. Está muy malo, pobrecito. He said his father's got the smallpox. Well, let's get out of here.
Bravo, amigo. You have good brain. Turn the wagon quick. I get the message. Go back, quick. Mira, take this message to Rancho Martinez. Give it to Senora Margarita. Tell her to come with Miguel in carriage. Now, where are you going to go? I follow these two hombres to Las Tablas. You come later. Now that you know who these kidnappers are, why don't you tell the soldados? <laughs> there is an old Portuguese proverb, my little fat one. Never speak to soldados when there's a price on your head. <laughs> gentlemen are to be congratulated. I've instructed my clerk to credit $10,000 to each of your accounts. Thank you, man. Buenos dias. What do you want? Oh, pardon, senor clerk. I want some information. I'd like to open an account. Oh, well, see my clerk outside. He'll take care of you. Oh, gracias. I'm sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Isn't that the fellow who was dancing with Sally last night? Yes. What did you find out about him? Don't let him worry you, Dan. I'm keeping an eye on him. Well, I'm a little busy now, gentlemen. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah. Thanks again. Lolito, Lolita, Lupita, Conchita, Luisito, a comer. Eh, quítense los sombreros. ¿Cómo ha estado tanto y para la cena? Pues he estado muy ocupada. Mira, qué buenos elotes. Pedrito, why don't you eat your dinner? That man who bought the wagon. I know I've seen him before. Where? What's the matter with him? Look, look! This man, he is a Cisco kid. The Cisco kid? What say there? $5,000 reward for information leading to the capture of the Cisco kid. $5,000. We're rich. Prepare my horse. I'm going to see the sheriff.
he is, Cisco. And he's out there now dancing with Sally. Now there's only one thing to do. Get out there and arrest him right away. Better land a hand, Reg. Put up your hands, Cisco. You're under arrest. Take his gun, Reg. They made a mistake. Come on, Just a minute, Sheriff. That man isn't the Cisco kid. What? Drop the pistolas. Drop the hand, Pronto. Bravo, amigo. Flip up. My amigo and me, we are leaving. Do not be so foolish like Senor Sweepy. Get the horses. See. Si. I think you're my friend all the time. You're stool pigeon for Senor Clark. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, no, of course not. My grandma, must she tell them who I am. I'm not finished, Senorita. I'll be back again soon. <laughs> Cañón to get Carlos. Por isso eu insisto a Clark aí tem, não? Chiquero, your old friend. I can hear your voice, but I can't see you. I've come to take you home. Oh. He died. We better go. No, no, no. He just fainted. Go outside and see if such Senora Margarita's coming. Well. Cisco de Passi! Trustito, quick. Isn't that their horses? Looks like them. Wait, this is the place we put... Put nothing. That's their horses, all right. So let's get them. We'll surround the place, boys, and smoke them out. We are cooked ducks, no? See, it's bad. If they catch us, they hang us for something they do. Come, amigo, help me. Now we have fight, no? No, it's too big to fight. We'll wait and see what they do. Keep your shirt on. You're the law, aren't you? You ran the kidnapper down. That's all you know. Howdy, Mr. Martinez. What happened? We caught up with the Cisco kid. He's in there. But where's my husband? I received a message to come for him here at 12 o'clock. 
Likely it's not your husband's in there, too, ma'am. We got the place surrounded, ma'am. The kid will give up pretty quick. But please stop the shooting. Well, but... I'm afraid my husband might be killed. Please stop. All right, ma'am. Hold the fire, boys. Hey, Jim. Run around the back and tell the boys to hold up on the shooting. All right, ma'am. I like that to be a hang. They get cooked. Come on, Cisco. You haven't got a chance. He is right. We take cameras out. Open the door. Carlos, Carlos, is he hurt? No, Margarita. He is very weak. He will be all right. Put him in the wagon. Put him up. Get their guns. Rage. Oh, I'm afraid you've made a mistake. These men are my friends. Friends? You know these hombres? Of course. Senor Chiquelo is our dear friend. Now, hold on, ma'am. You're a little excited. I'm not excited. You've made a mistake. Senor Chiquelo has come here to help me. I've trusted him with the ransom money. Why, I'd entrust my life to him. Well, you've been double-crossed by an old friend, ma'am. Senor Chiquelo is the Cisco kid. It's true, Margarita. I am the Cisco kid. I hope that you would never find out. But I did not kidnap Carlos. I did not double-cross you. These hombres, they are the kidnappers. They take the ransom money. They try to make me the goat. Miguel! Comfortable. All right, boys, I'll stand you around and drinks. Hey, Cisco, it's no use to complain, but if you... Ah, only... uh, silencio. There is still one who can help us. Yes, hey, and there's Smokey. Yeah? Come here, please. What can I do for you? You do me a big favor to send telegram, huh? Oh, sure, the wife and kitties, huh? No, 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 to Colonel Warren in Tucson. Oh, sorry, Par, but I guess you haven't heard. The Colonel's no longer with us. Got killed in an Indian raid. He's killed? Dead as a stewed prune. Hello, handsome. Well, pink snake's alive if it isn't the fairest flower in the land. Welcome, Sally. Hello, Smokey. You spend as much time in the cage as a canary. Yeah, I hope the cage is strong enough to keep you out. Mmm, friendly. Say, you can't talk like that to Sally. Ah, I bet that I'll her. Thanks, Smokey. You're a gentleman. A little blacksmith sure was lucky to spot him, wasn't he? Lucky? Collecting a $5,000 reward is like falling into a pot of gravy. Man and boy, I'd like to lay my hands on a little of that. What would you do with it? <laughs> well, I'd bid for your bustle three times a night. Oh, you are sweet, Smokey. That's the nicest compliment I've had in months. I mean it, too. Well, does dancing with me mean so much to you? It's like Murphy says, just heaven. Why, you poor boy, why haven't you said something before? Well, I... I... Well, let's dance now, hmm? In here? Why not? Well, if somebody came in the door... Oh, see, si, don't be bashful, Senor Smokey. I make for you the music, huh? Come on, Smokey, here we are. She's loco, no? Oh, that, that was heavenly, Smokey. Oh, I'm sure glad you liked it. Bravo, 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 senor. You are the feet like the antelope. Like an elephant. Well, come on, now, let's try a tango, huh? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Oh, of course you can. You're a wonderful dancer. Come on.
<laughs> you are very good, Senor Smokey, but that crisscross step, you have not got it yet. It go like this, look. One, two, one, two, three. But oh, easy. Come on, Smokey, we can do that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Smokey. You, you back up and I'll show you how to do it. Now, back up just a little bit more so you can see. Go on, back up there. Now, one... Open up the door. Do not move, senorita, or I'll kill you both. Come on, pronto. Get in. Andale, pronto. Put your hands out. To the bars, come on. Here, tie him up. It's quick if we shoot him, I think. Silencio, tie him up. Now, senor, you please sing. Sing? Oh, well, I, I can't sing. Come on, sing. <laughs> you come with me. Gracias, Sally. I made a big mistake tonight. I lose my head. If you stand here yapping, I'm going to lose mine. Will you get out of here? I have not finished my work here. First, I must get the ransom money back to Margarita. Then I have to take care of the kidnappers. Then I have a big date with you. Take my advice, Mastermind. It's healthier to ride out of this town than to be shipped out. Hasta la vista. It's better we do what Sally say, I think. Yeah, you always say you want to rob a bank, huh? Si. Bueno, come with me. Move, senor. I won't. Keep your mouth shut. Yes, as tight as a clam. Inside. <laughs> Say, ain't you the Cisco kid? Say, I am. Why? <laughs> Just making conversation. Open up the safe. I'm sorry, boss, but I can't do that. I just know how. Open up the safe. I'll tell you the truth, boss. If I knew how to do that, I'd stop being a watchman. Mr. Clarkson around here knows the combination. I'd be mighty happy to fetch him down here for you, sir. Well, that is a good idea. We go upstairs with his hombre and bring down Senor Clark. You won't need to do that. You can give him out here a devil or her by pulling out a little strap on it. What happened when we pulled that strap? It rings a small bell in Mr. Clark's bedroom. You are sure it is a small bell? Yes, sir. You could take your United States citizen's word for it. It's just a tiny mite of a thing. Well, if it's been make a big noise, you are going to be one dead citizen. I won't be, sir. I hope. <laughs> Pretty, ain't it? He's coming now, sir. He'll be coming down those stairs. Gordito, get over there. When Senor Clark come down, put the gun on him. Hey, you, come here. Yes, sir. When Senor Clark come down, I don't want you to say that. I know what to say. I used to be in your gentleman's business myself on a small scale. Full bench. Full bench. Full bench. Yes, sir, Mr. Clark. Here I am. Uh, put up your hands. Come down. Pronto. What's the meaning of this bullfinch? Why'd you ring that bell? I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, but when a gentleman puts the business end of a gun in your back, he just doesn't have no choice. Buenas noches, senor. Well, I thought you were. Open up the safe. Andale pronto, open the safe. Come on, come on. They got the ransom money. What are you talking about? Come on, Senor Clark. I have not very much time. Gracias. Bueno, now I write the big confession. Hey, Gordito, keep Senor Clark in a happy frame of mind with the gun, eh? Bueno, amigo. Senor, sign it. Hey, gordito, take the money to Senora Margarita. Si. What about the rest of the money on the safe? Well, I have good use for that. All of it? Si, andale, pronto. Well. Hey, wait a minute. 
Senor Bullfinch is one fine fellow. Where can he find a good horse? There's a couple of nice ones I've had my eye on right out there in the yard. Bueno, gracias. When you finish, come back. Bueno, adios. Come now, Senor Bullfinch. I'll make with you a little business. You find me mighty reasonable, boss, mighty reasonable. I want you to get Senor Dredge and the sheriff over here. For a thousand greenbacks, you have consummated a deal. Bueno. Uh, lay out the campaign, boss. Now, this is my plan. That's you, Mr. Sheriff. It's me, Bullfinch. What's the matter? Open up, Mr. Sheriff. It's mighty important. I got powerful information for you. What's up? The Cisco kid done broke out of jail and paid Mr. Clark and me a visit. What? Seems he knew all the times that Mr. Clark and Mr. Rush done done the kidnapping. Uh huh? So he gets Mr. Clark to sign a confession, took the ransom money, and is hightailing at the army headquarters right now. Where's Clark? Mr. Clark make ready to hit the breeze himself, money and all. When I tells him, should not inform Mr. Sheriff and Mr. Reg. He tells me to keep my big mouth shut and to saddle up his horse. Of course, it ain't none of my business, but it doesn't sound mighty fishy to me. Yeah, plenty. Come on. If it's all the same to you, sir, I, I think I'd better make myself scarce. All right, I'll fix you up later. Yes, sir. You are too slow. I've already done it 10 times. You will do it 50 times. Look, Cisco. Why don't you drop all this nonsense and come in with me? Senor, I am not a kidnapper. I do not rob women and children. And I do not kill army officers. Now empty the bag and pack it up again and do it faster. Come on, Andale. Keep packing. Faster. Oh, so you tried to double cross me, huh? Drop the hands. Senor Sheriff, on the desk there is a confession. You will please sign it. I tell you, it's the honest to goodness truth, Mr. Rez. The Sheriff and Mr. Clark make ready to hit the breeze, money and all. When I tell them, shouldn't I ought to inform you, they tell me to keep my big mouth shut and saddle up the horses. I'll take care of you for this, Bullfinch. Yes, sir. <laughs> You double crosses. But not not just any Reg. Now, Senor Reg, on the desk there is a confession. You will please put your name there, huh? Sit down, please. Something tells me I should take to the sagebrush and cactus. Ah, that is fine work, Bullfinch. And now, senores, I think we all owe this hombre some money. You all uh, hand over $500 apiece, please. What, what for? I do not believe you pay this honest servant enough salary. Come on, quick. But, boss, I only said 1,000 greenbacks. Well, yeah, the $500 for a little bonus. Go on, take it. Thanks, boss. Now, if you all excuse me, I'll be getting right out of here. See you in Memphis. Put the money in the safe pronto. You better wise up. You can use some of this money. Pronto, I say. You'll never have another chance like this, Cisco. <laughs> Senores, until now, I have been very patient. You hombres do not know how lucky you are to be still alive. That goes both ways. Andale, I have not all night. Not so smart this time, Cisco. Get over there. Sally, thanks a lot. Never been happier to see you. Yeah, I can believe that. Well, boys, looks like we're going to collect that nice big reward. It's perfect. Cisco Kid killed trying to rob bank. Give it to him, Reg. Stop it, Reg, or I'll fill you full of buckshot. Don't be crazy. You heard me. All right, Senor Reg. Get over with your friends. Gracias, Sally. Here is the proof that your very good friends are the very bad kidnappers. Well, how do you like that? I've been crawling around in a nest of snakes and didn't know it. Cisco, Cisco, the soldados are coming. They find out we have escaped. Why don't you shoot him yet? 
You give the money to Margarita? Si, si, she says she's sorry. She make a big mistake. All right, you mongrels, get in the safe. Oh, wait a minute. Get Charlie. in! Better do what the lady says. She looked pretty nervous to me. Andale pronto. And draw interest until our soldiers arrive. Francisco, the money, you lock him up. <laughs> oh, Sally, you're as clever with the gun as you are with the eyes. <laughs> now, I have nothing to worry about, except us. Yeah? What are you going to do about that? Well, I'll leave that to the soldados. Please, Francisco, hurry. You come with me now, huh? No. I'll make your life a bed of beautiful roses. I'd get stuck on the thorns. You will not come? On your horse, baby eyes, it always ends this way. Oh, Just Sally. one jump ahead of the law. A chihuahua. Make love pronto. You will be waiting when I return, huh? Yeah, when you return, I'll be waiting. Yeah, when? Please, Cisco, the soldados are coming. All right, I go. But someday I come back to the most beautiful girl in Arizona. Adios, mi linda. Malarkey. <laughs>